Hello everyone, this is Jemima, also known as the Rocking Stitcher, and I'm back with plus tube number 46. Welcome everyone. Um, I don't know why, but pressing play today was really hard. <laughs> you sometimes see people do a montage of the blooper, uh, some things that were happening before they pressed play, and I should have pressed play <laughs> and showed you those things. <laughs> uh, I don't, I, I don't know what was happening, <laughs> but uh, finally push play and I'm going with it right now, so we'll see. Uh, welcome everyone, um, I'm so glad you took some time to visit with me again, or maybe for the first time. So um, I'm so happy you decided to do that, um, and I hope I'll get myself sorted <laughs> throughout the video. Uh, first of all I want to thank a few people who used the um, Kofi link that I have in the description box. That was uh, New York Jen, uh, Robin, Trish and Angel. And two of those names are familiar by m for me by now. So uh, thank you so so much for supporting my channel again or for the first time. Um, it's so much appreciated. Uh, not just because I can buy the supplies to show you the stuff, but also because it reminds me that I'm not doing this for nothing. <laughs> not just for me. <laughs> um, because I do like seeing, go, coming back to older videos, well I, I don't really watch older videos for me, but if I want to see where was I a year ago, it's really nice to see uh, the project in that video and um, see the progress. That's fun. Let's get to the stitching because I'm not really doing well with all the other stuff right now. <laughs> um, first of all, as always, I have my Super Size Waterhole Master by David Penn found, found. It's a heaven and earth design and it's my focus piece until it's finished, which won't be anytime soon. <laughs> uh, I expect to finish it somewhere in 2025. Yeah, 2025. <laughs> And that's still pushing it. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I I get the question almost every video how I stitch this these kind of big pieces in hand because I stitch in hand, and I've been showing it multiple times. But I don't do a stitch with me video because they scare me. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll be brave enough. But I have my fabric rolled from the bottom. And uh, right now, because on the top um, there's so much fabric left that I, it's kind of rolled up as well. I had these over it before I started filming. Uh, and I just have the roll in my hand. And uh, then I stitch like this. And I can get my hand underneath it really easy. Um, and if I need to go up higher, I roll it up a bit more. And then again... And I have this rolled up a bit to protect the stitched area. That's mostly it. It's not in my way, but to, to protect it, I have I have this. So the, you see the back side, the, the stitch side is uh, protected, and uh, it, it's just really easy. I I do kind of the sewing method, but I also go to the back depending on. Uh, what I feel is right for that moment. I don't really think about it that much. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it goes really simple. Uh, so this hand is holding the roll. And uh, that's just how I stitch in hand. <laughs> it's really easy. It's nothing special. But I get that question e almost every time. That's how I stitch in hand. So um, now I can all roll the whole thing. <laughs> And I need to, let me see, get my chair out of the way. This is the whole thing. Can get a bit closer. So, the whole thing. It's about a meter wide. I'm stitching this on 25 count even weave. I don't know what kind. It's a swag up, but I don't know the kind. It was my first time stitching on 25 count. Um, I now prefer Lugana. Didn't know it back then. I started this in December 2017. So, 
get back closer to show you what I've stitched on recently. Since the last time you saw this, I... Let me see. Where are my notes? Of course, on the ground. <laughs> I knew it was going to be that kind of day. Uh, I did about 3000 since the last time you saw this. Um, and I'm working in the Rhino. And again, like I said last time, I'm having so much more fun with doing the Rhino than I thought I would. And it's looking so good. <laughs> so next month I will get into the face. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> keep looking at this sometimes it's even nicer to look at it through the camera because you're always up close when you're stitching on something and um, in the camera you're like oh that's that's how it's supposed to look <laughs> yeah I, I really really love working on this piece uh, and also side note I just did my hair but it's dried up weird and now it's constantly in my eyes and not cooperating <laughs> because it's that kind of day so next up is something really exciting you might guess what it is already if you saw my last video or if you follow me on Instagram because I've shown it there already um, I have another hate finish <laughs> um, yeah here it is <laughs> it's quick stitch blue butterfly by Ching Chow Kyuk um, I did about 4,000 stitches on this since the last time you saw it and now it's finished and it's so <laughs> tiny like I I don't have big hands and it's like this it's like the size of my hand that's it <laughs> it's it was out of the top of my head 16,200 stitches I think it was I started this in May with uh, stitching Emma Emma X stitching. <laughs> Remembering floss tubes names is hard. She, her name is Emma. I'm certain about that. But um, uh, Emma X stitching, I think it is. But if I mention a channel, a, a channel, it will be linked down below. Um, and mine is finished now, and uh, Emma is doing all kinds of cells. Um, so she wasn't really uh, working on this one, uh, but now she picked it back up because she liked seeing mine. <laughs> that made me happy. <laughs> so go Emma, finish it. It feels so good. So last year I had a hate finish. So many books on little time. That was big. <laughs> uh, and now I have a small hate finish, but something in me thinks I should Keep the momentum and have a hate finish every year. <laughs> but we'll see about that. Uh, yeah, look how beautiful that is. It was quite confetti heavy. This is, by the way, on 25 count Lugana. Uh, one over one, full, cross full crosses. That's my preferred way. And yeah, th like I said, this one had quite a bit of confetti. It, it just has the normal amount of colors, around 90, I don't know the exact number. Um, so with only 16,000 stitches, those colors are everywhere. There are hardly any blocks of colors. But the details that's, that that gives, is it's just amazing. I really love this. I have another pattern, uh, one, one of those uh, quick stitch butterflies. Um, I'm not starting it this year probably, but I know I will enjoy It's a bit bigger than, than this, but I'm looking forward to working on that someday because it's, it's, yeah, it's so pretty. The colors are looking so good. Yeah. Really happy with that. So, um... I really feel like I forget stuff. I'm trying not to rush myself. But uh, I feel like I, I'm forgetting stuff. Well, 
Next up is Deer Creek by Donna Gelsinger. Uh, I'm stitching this with the Stitch Kateers. I started it before, earlier. But they're doing the mini version of this, so they're uh, way ahead of me. <laughs> Most of them are, are already, um, because it, it's not a big piece. This is 200,000 stitches. Um, so it's not a big, big height, but still bigger than a mini. And um, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna finish this years after they're gonna finish theirs, but that, that's uh, totally fine. It's we're stitching on this every other Friday, so mostly, sort of, no rules, but we usually pick this up. And sometimes uh, this time around, I the last few times I was only stitching it. On it on that Friday evening, so it was like 300 stitches at, at, at each time. But this time, the Saturday after that, I uh, kept stitching on it. So here I am now. See if I can do a before and after. If that's going to show up, I uh, I worked on this part. I had it in my mind to get to the other corner, like. Uh, there will be a border just like this one so it's not that far anymore until I reach the next corner and to <laughs> I found out I have I had the page lines turned off on pattern keeper you can show the, in pattern keeper you can show the page lines but you can also erase them because you don't need them for anything you can have mini goals like mini finishes finish a page but you don't need them in pattern keeper so I, for this piece I had turned them off and even this these first pages aren't finished completely because at the bottom there, there are still stitches but I, I, I really don't mind um, I think I'm let me see I didn't write that down I did about a thousand stitches on this one yeah I did uh, let me see where's pattern keeper um, because I don't want to say anything that's not true. Yeah, I'm at 12.1% now. So, pretty cool. Long way to go. But I cannot wait to see more of the first deer. Jantina has so much progress on this one and hers is looking so good. Uh, so that was Deer Creek. Then, uh, I, 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 I've been preparing for an hour and then still I'm not really prepared. Uh, and really, my hair is driving me crazy. Um, whip go. I talked about it last time. Said I might show a picture. I didn't do that, I think. <laughs> So here's my whip go board. Um, and the ones that were called this month for me were the Quaker. It's really hard reading it backwards. And flower of the month. Uh, I have worked on those. That's what I'm going to show you next. So those two I can mark off. And for next month it will be Autumn Comes. And oh, there was a free space, but I didn't put anything in there. So because of the free space, another number was called. Oh yeah, and it's Lady of Mystery for me. That's a mirabilia. Um, I just worked recently on a mirabilia, so I'm not gonna do a whole lot. I don't have a set goal. For me, it's just work on it that month, and it's it's done. So. I don't gain anything from getting a bingo, it's just uh, if if I can mark them all off, that means I, I worked on every piece uh, this year that's non, not full coverage. Um, yeah, there are some full coverages on it, but those are dimensions. Um, Autumn Comes is a pre-printed, uh, the, the, how do you say that? pre-stamped 
the pattern is already on the fabric. I didn't like that, so I got another fabric and I'm using the pattern that came with it. But it's a colored pattern and it's a really big piece and it's a struggle. So <laughs> I'm not going to do a whole lot on that either. And that's good because I have other plans for me. So it's good to not have whip go. Um, I, there are a few pieces that I really want to get some progress on if they are called for whip go. And this way um, I don't feel bad if I don't really get to it. But this is my whip go board and I'm really enjoying it. Um, Jessie Marie. Uh, calls the numbers around the 27th of every month. This time she did it a bit sooner. It's a pretty bird. Sorry, distracted. Um, she calls the numbers. It's it's her game. She invented it for herself. People like it, so she let us play with her. Uh, so that was my way to go. So as you could see, um, the projects that were called. Let me see. The first one, and I'm also always a bit hesitant to show this. And uh, this is the Quaker. It's not by Joko Trebedenijs. It's by someone who put it on the internet for free. This is slightly altered, but hardly any. Uh, I'll put the link to the free pattern in the drop down box below. Uh, Joko Trebedenijs made a kit from this with her own hand dyed floss. Uh, but that didn't give her the right to put her name under the pattern. So <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, also, her flosses are really nice, but I cannot recommend this shop anymore because she doesn't have a physical shop anymore. And I only hear bad stuff about her online selling. She's collecting money. She's not giving you anything. So I cannot recommend this. Every time I show this, because the colors are gorgeous, people ask me about it. I cannot recommend the store. I'm not gonna. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gonna show it because I stitched on it. I bought it uh, at a craft fair. I um, I bought it. I thought I was buying something uh, decent. And apparently I didn't really do that. Um, <laughs> so getting through all of that. Here is the piece. <laughs> uh, I finally can enjoy this piece again. When I was first approached by the original um, designer of the of the chart, and she was kind of mad, <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. Um, but um, that really put me off working on this anymore. But I really like this piece, and like I said. I don't feel I did anything wrong. So I'm pointing you in the right direction for the right pattern. And I'm going to enjoy this stitch. <laughs> it's with variegated threads, as you can see. And that's kind of a struggle for me. Because in my mind, there's only one right way to do stuff. And I don't know what the right way is. I know there's not a right way. You can do so many fun things with variegated threads. But I cannot my mind off that's basically it so uh but i did enjoy uh stitching on this um i did this figure i started the big one it's not finished yet and i did that little flower and yeah i i don't really think i did the line over here i think that was it so far so maybe i will finish this big thing this month but we'll see there's only four more days left and I want to stitch on everything. I cannot do that. <laughs> but uh, here it is so far. Yeah, and the colors. It's sort of showing up okay in the ca camera, but I think they're more pretty in real life. Just the opposite from my full coverages. But yeah, I worked on that for a week ago. And then another thing I worked on for we go is Flower of the Month by Anna Maurostro. Again, a free pattern on the internet. And uh, I always link her down below. Uh, her, I mean the pattern. I have a weird printout. This is it. Um, 
she has a flower for every month. And like a lot of people, I'm stitching it on one big piece of fabric. Uh, I'm stitching this on a linen. I don't have a clue of what kind of linen. It uh, seems to be a Swigart, but I don't know what, what kind. And it's really not my favorite. It has big slops. And uh, I don't know. It's not, and linen isn't my favorite anyway, but <laughs> uh, it does look gorgeous on it. And this is where I am right now. So Amy, I'm stitching this with Amy Loves Totes and she's always ahead of me. Uh, I finished my flower. <laughs> I don't have the colors yet for the next flower. It will be a red flower, really gorgeous. And I'm excited to get into new colors. Um, so last since last time, I, I had started this one, uh, I had a bit of the butterfly and about of the oh, dots, some something like that, but almost the complete flowers I did since the last time you saw this. I still need to do a tiny bit of backstitch uh, here for the butterfly. And there's one very light green color. That ha only has like, I don't know, nine stitches or something like that. I don't have that color. I didn't buy it because it was only nine stitches and I thought I, I will get it out of another project. I don't have it. All the hates I have going on, three supersized hates, a few color expansions, and I don't have this one color of DMC. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so I will have to come back to this p part once for those nine stitches and for the back stitch, but I consider it finished. <laughs> also, this one also still needs back stitch. I, I do this in Pattern Keeper, and when I was stitching this one, um, I missed the back stitch. <laughs> but uh, looking good. Those flowers are looking so good, and it's a free pattern. It's amazing. So that was whip go. Um, then, like I said, I want to stitch on everything, and uh, I only have three more pieces to show you. But this was only like two weeks and two days or something, and um, I had eight projects. So that goes to show I want to stitch on everything. Um, next up is the potting shed. By Amy Stewart, Heaven and Earth Design. I'm stitching this on 25 count uh, Lugana, 1 over 1 full cross. I always forget to, th to give you information about stuff. Uh, let me see. This is where I am. I started this in 2018, I think. Yeah, May 2018. So I've been working on this for four years almost. That's crazy. And I was doing really well on this piece, but then I started all the hates. <laughs> um, so let me show you more of what I was doing this time. I, I only did about a thousand stitches on this so far. Like I said, uh, I want to stitch on everything. So <laughs> I, I want to keep stitching on this. I was working on this last night. But also, there are a few other things I want to do, so uh, who knows. Uh, but I did fill in most of this part with the cat. The page is going through here, so I will finish this page. Um, I did start a bit in the window here as well, and the window sill, or whatever you call this. Um, but th th this is a nice part and this is like a separate part. Not a lot of co the colors run into the next part. So it's nice to have to finish something and then move on. Um, so this is mostly finished. I love that flower. It's looking so good. Uh, and look at that cat. <laughs> so cute. Uh, this piece is so amazing. I I I'm doing this. Uh, with the uh, pages um, diagonal, so I 
finish this page now i'm on this one then i will do this one and then the bottom over here and then i'll move over there again and that way i don't if i would do the top first then i would be in this spotting shed for quite a while which is nice but then you have the not so fun stuff till the end uh, and i like the variety this gives me so I'm pretty sure there's one or two other pieces that I did, I, yeah, bird song, I'm going to do this the same way probably, because some pieces only have sky on the bottom, and then it's really nice to have some variegation while you work on it. Now I'm very distracted by my phone, I have the sound put up, but people are texting me, <laughs> well me, it's the Stitch Kateers, they're texting each other and me. <laughs> They're distracting me. <laughs> um, so uh, next up is sunflower mini sunflower cottage by Donna Gelsinger as well, and um, this is a cell started by Emma X Stitching again and Darcy uh, Stitchman Darcy. Um, yeah, they started this and like I said, Emma is doing all the cells. Emma is really good at starting cells and she told me to start this, so I did. <laughs> She's also trying to, me to start the snail houses by Owl Forest Embroidery. But they're not online patterns. They're kits you have to buy and to be honest, they're not cheap. And that doesn't mean they're not worth that because they're co they come with hand dyed threads. And that kind of thing and they're gorgeous but i don't have that money to spend on those kits but they're pretty uh so no am i'm not gonna start it <laughs> but i did start this one because she made me and i'm really enjoying it and a part of me thinks this should be my finish for next year like i said having a hate finish every year sounds really nice and this it's a mini it's a this is it. It's not all. It's way bigger than the Quixis blue butterfly, but everything is bigger than the blue, Quixis blue, blue butterfly because that's teeny tiny. But this is um, this is not so confetti heavy. There are confetti like in the greenery over here. That's confetti, but um, the blue is big blocks of color. Uh, but yeah. This might be a finish next year. I'm not holding myself to it yet, but it's in the back of my mind. Well, not so far back, <laughs> but it's there. Um, I started the heart, bit of the umbrella even, did one strand and filled in more of the green and the confetti in these things. Uh, but it was really nice to get out of this little corner and get into more of the other items. So I did 1100 stitches on this one, sort of. All of them, I could focus on them and stick with them. But then again, I wanted to stitch on everything. So the last piece I'm going to show you, I did the least amount of stitches on. Because it's so much... Background. It's it's all background. Uh, this is Wolf Orion by Bente Slick. It's a new no design. I'm stitching this on 25 count. I want to say Ubelhor. I don't know why. I... So many books so little time was on Ubelhor. This is 25 count Lugana. Uh, stitching this one over one. And this is where I am so far. I only did six, about 600 stitches on this one. I've filled in more of this of the gray in here and then I went uh, and did more on of the purple around there so it is progress but not a whole lot and and this is a big big piece and I really love this piece I started stitching on this because oh I miss my dog and she looked a lot like a wolf all my do dogs did uh, we had old G German Shepherds and she, the, our last dog passed away last year in January 
and I I started this to commemorate my dogs, kind of. Uh, but I'm now on 0.66% because this piece, so I've done a total of 2695 stitches and this is the whole thing. It has more stitches than so many books are little time. It's it's not a super size, it's just a regular chart. Uh, but it has uh, 409,500 stitches. It's, it's massive. Um, so I, I really need to get going on this. But the ear of the of the wolf starts on the second page in the corner. So the tip of the ear is like in the second and the third page. So there's so much background to go before I get into the fun stuff, into the details. And I'm not a background stitcher. I'm really not. I knew that. I always picked up pieces like the Amy Stewart pieces. Uh, they have things going in every corner and all over the piece. And that's what I like to stitch because then I see stuff happening all the time. And I've always picked projects like that because I, 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 even before I did it, before I did something else, I knew I would get bored with doing background stitching. I don't like stitching big blocks of color all the time. I need some variety, so that's why this is going slow because I need the variety, and I cannot get it on this piece. So I stitch big blocks of color, and then I need to move on to another project. So this is going slow until I, hopefully, until I reach, reach, the wolf because the wolf is gorgeous. It's so pretty. It's gonna take a while. So that was the last thing I needed to show you. Um, do I have any plans? Uh, like I said, there's still four more days of stitching before I need to get back to Waterhall Master. But I do have plans for May. But for those four days, um, it's totally sweepy. <laughs> so I can, I have all kinds of things I want to work on. And uh, I'll see where I land on. You'll see that next video. But for uh, May, the 1st of May, I'm going to have a start. I uh, have it already here in this new uh, Diane bag uh, from Frog and Fudge. It's so pretty. <laughs> I'm uh, going to have this uh, start with uh, Lydia. Look at those colors. It's only for the first page. Most of the colors for the first page. Not even all, maybe. It's a... It's another Amy Stewart. Um, it's Cosmic Marbles. Um, just because of the colors. <laughs> I don't really see me, myself hanging that piece anywhere in my house. Just like I started Peacock Plumage one day. I'm pronouncing that wrong. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. Peacock Plumage. I, I keep forgetting. Um, but those kind of pieces, they are so much fun to stitch. But not necessarily for in my house. But with this one, my oldest son was already like, yeah, that's for me then. <laughs> I will hang that in my house. <laughs> so maybe one day it will get finished, but I'm going to start it on the 1st of May with Lydia. And I'm really looking forward to that. It's, uh, it's such a colorful piece. And like I said, an Amy Stewart Design has something going everywhere. Talking about Amy Stewart, last video, I said I had a new purchase, but I was going to show that uh, in my next video before because it had something to do with my mania plans. That wasn't true. <laughs> this was my mania plans, and the other piece was not for mania, but I it's for, I hope to start it this year. I will put it up here. It's I don't even know the name of the chart exactly. Let me see. Um, view PDF. It's Love Letters Chocolate Shop. Uh, it's another Amy Stewart. And it's gorgeous. It came out a few months ago, I think. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> Amy Stewart needs to stop designing stuff because everything she designs, I want to stitch. There's a new 
um, bookshelf piece that she came out with. I love that too, but I'm not going to stitch that because I already have a bookshelf and I'm still really, really, really tempted by um, the Stitching Time bookshelf. I'm trying to restrain myself, but because those bookshelves, for me, I feel like you need to do them in supersized and I already have three supersized on the go, so... <laughs> Please tell me, don't start a stitch in time <laughs> because I don't need another supersized in my life, but it's so gorgeous and I see so many people working on it and usually that could mean uh, I don't need to stitch it because I all already see it all the time but with that one every time I see someone working on it I'm like oh, I need that in my life but I don't I don't need that in my life I have three super sized going but this is going to get started somewhere this year also again of course with Lydia and uh, we have some sort of plans we don't have a date planned but uh, I know Alice has the chart as well but Alice doesn't like starting all the things, so she's probably not in a hurry to start, but we're, we'll see if we can get her to start it as well with us. I, th I think she kind of wants to. Um, and then we were like, we could do an Amy Stewart cell, uh, because I know not everyone wants to do uh, this one, but uh, Debbie wants to do another Amy Stewart, so I was like, Let's make it an Amy Stewart cell. And uh, Jantina didn't have any plans to start something of Amy Stewart, but she has Amy Stewart pieces. So I said, why not just do Amy Stewart cell? And you can stitch on whatever you want. And uh, I'm gonna stitch on this one then. So we don't, like I said, we don't have any plans on when to start. But if you have any ideas, if you want to participate as well, and just let me know. Uh, and it will be fun to work on all our Amy Stewart pieces because they're gorgeous. And I know a lot of you are still... Oh, Jessie! <laughs> Jessie Marie, if you're watching this, you wanted to do uh, Amy Stewart because you realized you haven't started one yet. This is your time. You can participate with us. So, um, yeah, that's plans. Uh, there will be another start in May, but that won't be until the 21st of May. So I will get to that in my next video with plans. Um, for now, I think that was it. Um, I always think I'm forgetting stuff, but I didn't have any haul. I only bought the pattern. I think that's it. I knew I forgot something very important. So. Uh, this is several hours later, but I'm back and uh, I'll put this clip in somewhere in the video. <laughs> I was looking at pictures for the editing part and then I ran into a picture and I was like, how can I forget this? Um, last Wednesday, exactly a week ago, um, I had a visit of Lydia. Um, uh, she's uh, one of the sisketeers that lives closest to me. And um, a few months ago, I went to her place and we had a lovely day together. It was so much fun and so nice to see someone face to face. And then I brought some fabrics for her um, that I asked her to make into project bags. So she did. And um, it was right at the time she was uh, switching jobs, so she didn't have time immediately. But uh, she came around to do that. And uh, she even brought them by this time. So uh, I'll show you, you the bag she brought me. Um, this is the first one. This was fabric that wasn't really suitable for making project bags. Uh, I didn't buy the fabric for necessarily project bags. I just bought the fabric because I liked it. She brought back all the excess fabric. Um, but she did manage to squeeze out one back and <laughs> she hated doing it because it was so stiff it's really hard fabric but i really like it. it this was also fabric i brought that was used for the inside my lanita kit is living in in there right now uh so she made a beautiful project back for me how nice is that 
uh, another fabric that I brought that um, was more suitable <laughs> was this. I have two boys. Uh, they've grown out of this phase. I haven't. <laughs> I still love Toothless. Uh, yeah, I have one of... Let me see. Okay, the glue came off. That's weird. I just uh, messed up my needle minder. <laughs> See, the glue, the glue came off. Okay, uh, I got this needle minder a couple of years ago from one of my kids. Uh, it's toothless. I, I love it. So now I have two present bags with tooth, uh, toothless. How cool is that? With the same inside. And as you can see, they're still empty because I have plans. <laughs> so I need empty project bags <laughs> for that. And just because she's Lydia and she's amazing, she also brought me this project bag with her own fabric with this as the inside they're all fine on the front as you can see and we're both we both started um, Strawberry Fields Forever um, a while back when we met up a year and a half ago over a year and a half ago I think um, Lydia and I started this together we met up with the Stitch Kateers and uh, she said, uh, Oh, you have a strawberry bag for your strawberry fields forever. So, how sweet is that? So, I got four new project bags and I had a lovely vid visit with Lydia. So, how happy can you be? Well, I was very happy. <laughs> so, wanted to uh, stop by and uh, show you that because. I forget everything, <laughs> especially the important thing. So back to the main video. Um, yeah. Um, if I forget something, I will try to put it on my notes for next time. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, um, I hope to see you back in about two weeks. Not making any promises, but that's sort of the schedule I'm trying to. Um, um, to follow right now um, yeah hope you're all doing fine and I hope you get to enjoy our hobby and stitch away as much as you can but also enjoy the nice weather for everyone in the northern hemisphere sphere we're going into spring <laughs> well there's still a lot of snow I see coming around especially in parts of the USA I'm really happy we got into spring. We, uh, <laughs> I'll put a picture up here of, um, <laughs> it's something I, I came across on, on the internet and I was like, that's my husband and me, except for we both look as smug as Hyacinth is doing in this picture. <laughs> Every time we go to a, a garden center, this is my husband and me. <laughs> It's, if you say, uh, go on a date, go on a fun day, uh, where, where do you want to go? We will both probably choose a garden center. The only downside is that if you come home, <laughs> you have a full day of work in the garden after that. <laughs> because uh, if we go for one plant for in the house, we come home with two trees and a bunch of bushes and, and flowers and, and flower bushes bulbs how do you call them that you put in the ground that kind of thing and then we need to plant <laughs> uh, so that was us last Saturday again and um, uh, yeah we, we had a blast Saturday it was so much fun in the in the garden center and after that in the garden in the garden we really had a nice sunny day that day uh, it was it was gorgeous um, my day ended a bit worse 
because I was already showered, ready for bed, so I was ready, ready to stitch. And then I got a call from my mom saying, are you home? Yeah, I'm home. What's the matter? She doesn't usually call that late. And my father was nothing really too, too serious, but he had a really high fever and he needed to see a doctor. And at that time you can only go to, like all the doctors have their, um, uh, you go to the hospital where the doctors have a, a, a place where you go if you need to go off. Uh, uh, when all the doctors are closed, one doctor has uh, <laughs> words in English. <laughs> um, there's always a doctor over there. So you call and you make an appointment and you go there. So you don't really need to go to the emergency room, but you go to a normal doctor. Uh, you, can, you could even find your own doctor there um, but my father I needed to go there and I have two, two brothers that live near my parents but one of them was on uh, off away for the weekend uh, and my other brother wasn't picking up the phone so I needed to go to the village of my parents pick my father up go to the hospital he had an appointment uh, at 10:30 uh, in the evening almost at night <laughs> and uh, my car isn't doing all that well so I drove with my car to my parents place and then with my parents car I drove my father to the hospital and he was <laughs> he was uh, delusional and weird and he didn't know how to open a car door and I need to have him on my arm because otherwise he would slam into things or fall down uh, he was really but we could have a conversation most of the time. Sometimes he would repeat himself, but sometimes you were like, oh, he's fine. And then he was like looking at the door. I don't know what to do. <laughs> he didn't know how to open it. <laughs> Seatbelt was a problem, all that kind of stuff. So, But I was there for my dad and it was really nice that I was ready for that, that I could do that because with my anxiety and stuff, driving at night in a car of someone else, uh, I did it and I felt really, really happy with myself. I came home at uh, midnight and then I was all pumped. So I was stitching for about an hour and then went to bed way too late for me. And then I couldn't sleep because my head was still really full. So Sunday wasn't a good day. Saturday was a really, really, really good day. So um, I don't know why I told you all of that. <laughs> I was saying goodbye. <laughs> so, um, I hope you're enjoying spring. That was what I was saying. <laughs> that was a big rabbit hole. Um, so, and if you're in the southern hemisphere, I hope you get to enjoy getting rid of the heat and getting into fall. Um, thank you all for watching. I'll leave it at this and I'll see you next time. Bye.